everything you need to know about python in simplest possible way in our previous video we have seen how to add items to dictionary right so in this video we will see how we can delete items from dictionary so in order to do that we have some of the methods one is pop item pop and clear so let us go ahead one after the other and understand how we can delete the elements from the dictionary so let us start with this particular first method that we have which is nothing but pop item so before that we need to consider a dictionary right that is the reason i am taking this dictionary of details here we are having name age gender and country so let us go ahead and see how we can use this dictionary and how we can delete the items from this dictionary so here i am first executing this so this is got executed after that i will print details here so here we need to take details and i am executing this so here we need to take details right so details if i execute this this is got executed we are getting the dictionary and we have the key value pairs so let us understand how we can delete the elements from this dictionary using pop item so how this pop item works is that whichever the key value pair that is recently added to the dictionary that key value pair will be deleted so let us go ahead and see how we can use this pop item in order to remove the latest added entry so for that we need to mention the details dictionary at the beginning so we need to call the method by using this dictionary only so details dot pop item so we need to if we just execute this we can able to get a tuple which are containing a key value pair country and india so this is the entry so in this dictionary if you could carefully observe here the last entry that we have which is nothing but country india right so that is got popped from the dictionary so now if i print details here so one second so i will take details here so if i execute this this is got executed so now if i take details here and if i execute this you can see name age and gender and you cannot see this country because this country is got removed from this dictionary by using this pop item so by this simply mentioning this particular pop item method we can able to remove the recently added key value pair from the dictionary so i hope you can able to understand that let's say if i use this same statement to remove one more entry so here it here it is and if i execute this this is got executed and it is returning a key value pair which is nothing but gender and male here so this is one of the entry right so this is the latest entry after removing this country india which is gender male so this is also got removed and if i print if i print details here if i execute this we are only getting a name and age keys the reason is because this gender key value pair is got removed from the dictionary so now the latest entry which is nothing but age right so now if i do one more time this particular pop item so if i execute this so the latest entry here in this case age right that is also got popped up so why i am doing this is because there is a specific reason you will able to understand so here i am mentioning details dot pop item and if i execute this the name is also got removed so now if i print details here and if i execute this we are getting an empty dictionary here so by using this curly braces we will be representing empty dictionary so now if i mention details dot pop item and if i execute this ah uh, exactly this is what i want for this one only i am explaining all of these things so whenever you wanted to remove any element whenever you are using this pop item if the dictionary is empty which means the dictionary does not contain any elements in that case the key error will be raised which is saying pop item dictionary is empty which means this dictionary is an empty dictionary and you cannot remove any element from the dictionary because there is no element present in the dictionary so this is one of the important case that you need to consider whenever you are using this pop item if the elements does not present in the dictionary you cannot use this pop item and if you use it will raise a key error
So I hope by this explanation you can able to understand how this pop item works. So the pop item will remove the elements from the dictionary whichever the element that is got recently added. So we have explained we have discussed from each step right whatever the latest element that we have each latest element got removed one after the other. First we have removed country later we have removed gender later we have removed age name and everything we have removed and after that when we have empty dictionary we are getting a key error so by this you can able to understand the behavior of this particular pop item whenever you wanted to remove the recent entry from the dictionary you can able to use this pop item to remove that so let us go ahead and see one more method that we have which is nothing but details here so this details which is nothing but pop here so this details dictionary got empty right so let us take the same dictionary from the above and we will reuse the dictionary here so I am pasting this and I am executing this. So now we can use this details dictionary. So now what I will be doing is that I will take this dictionary and use this pop method and see how it works. So if I take details and if I use simply this pop and if I execute this, so we are getting a type error pop expected at least one er argument got zero which means it is telling that you need to pass at least one argument for this particular pop so the argument which it takes is nothing but key so we need to pass key to this particular pop method so whenever we are passing any key the key associated value will be removed the key value pair will be removed from the dictionary so here what i will be doing is that i will mention the key is key age here and if i execute this we are getting 22 which is nothing but the value associated with this key right so now if i print details here details and if i execute this we are not getting age key value pair so previously we have age key value pair right so we have age and the value is 22 so now by this explanation and removal of this particular age using pop we are not getting the age as a result as a key value pair in the dictionary right so to explain i will take one more example and i will remove one more element using pop here so what i wanted to remove is nothing but let's say gender here so i am mentioning gender and if i execute this we are getting the result which is male so this is the key associated with this particular function with this particular dictionary right so with this particular key right so now if i print details here and if i execute this you cannot able to find this gender and the key value pairs associated with this gender the reason is because by using this pop this particular gender key value pair got removed so now i will explain with one of the important case with this pop which is nothing but whenever we are passing a key that is not present in the dictionary what happens let us see so now what i will be doing is that i am taking this details dot pop and i will be using this same gender so the gender is got removed previously from the dictionary right so if i execute this we are getting a key error which is saying this gender so which is otherwise you can understand as this gender is not present in the dictionary but still you are wanted to remove this particular gender from the dictionary so in such case you will be getting a key error so in order to overcome this key error what we can do is that we can mention a default value so previously when we are removing by mentioning the key right we are getting the value so whatever the value that is associated with this key so like that we can able to mention the default value for this pop so if the key is not present in the dictionary we will be getting the default value let's say if i take fine here so if the gender is not present that's fine so if i execute this you can able to see we are getting the fine as a result right so as like we are getting the male as a result in the previous example and the previous example we are getting the 22 when we are removing our uh, age right so in a similar fashion we are getting fine when we are wanted to remove this gender but still this gender is not present in the dictionary we are getting this default value which whatever we are passing here so let's say what i will be doing is that this gender is not present in the dictionary at this moment right so because previously it is got removed so this country is present right so if i pass this country 
so understand carefully i am passing this country and i am mentioning default value so if the country is already present the country key is already present in the dictionary the value associated with this country got will be returned so if i execute this i will get this india and this country key value pair will be removed from the dictionary so understand carefully i am executing this so we are getting the result as india because this country is already existing in the uh, dictionary because of the reason we are not getting the default value we are getting the value which is whatever the associated value for this country right so i hope you can able to understand that so now if i print details here and if i execute this see you can able to understand right this country india is got removed by using this pop method so now we left with only one key value pair which is nothing but name mahesh here so i hope you can able to understand the behavior of this pop and how this pop works so whenever we wanted to remove any element from the dictionary we can use this pop if the element is present the element will be removed if the element is not present if the key is not present we will get a key error so in order to overcome that key error we can mention whatever the default value that we wanted here so if the key is not present we will be getting the default value if the key is present we will be getting the value that is associated with the key and the key value pair will be removed so i hope you can able to understand by this explanation so let us go ahead and see one more method that we have which is nothing but clear here so how this clear works is that when we use this clear and when we call this clear method it will remove all the items all the key value pairs from the dictionary at the end we will be getting a empty dictionary so let us go ahead and see how this clear works so i will take this same example here to save some time and i will be pasting here and i am executing this so this is got executed so now what i will be doing is that by using this details dot so by using this dictionary i am calling this clear method so now i am calling this and if i execute this so before executing this i will just print this details here so either we are whether we are getting the dictionary or not so i am i am printing this details here if i execute this we can able to get all the key value pairs present in the dictionary so here we are calling this clear method using the details dictionary and if i execute this this is got executed very good so if i print details here and if i execute this we are getting a empty dictionary previously when we are printing dictionary with this values we are getting all the values after once we are calling this particular clear method all the elements in the dictionary all the key value pairs present in the dictionary are removed and finally we are only left with a empty dictionary so whenever you wanted to clear all the elements present in the dictionary and maybe use that dictionary further you can use this clear method so i hope you can able to understand right so that's it so i will quickly wrap up what we have discussed so that you can able to have a clear understanding right so here in this video we have discussed deleting elements from the dictionary by using a, some specific methods so first we have discussed a pop item by using this pop item the recently added element the recently given element in the dictionary will be removed from the dictionary so after that we have discussed how we can remove an element from the specific by using a specific key using this pop method so if the value if the key is present in the dictionary the value associated with that key will be given and returned after that the key value pairs will be removed from the dictionary so if the key is not present by default we will be getting an error so if you wanted to overcome that error we can mention the default value and when we execute this pop method without when we don't have key present in the dictionary we will be getting the associated value of the dictionary associated value whatever we are passing for this pop method the default value right so i hope you can able to understand that as well so apart from that when we wanted to clear and remove <coughs> all the elements are present in the dictionary in such case we will be using this clear method by using this clear method all the key value pairs will be removed from the dictionary and finally we left with empty dictionary so i hope you can able to understand that right so i hope you can able to understand all of these concepts and i hope you have found this video interesting if that is true hit the like button and comment whatever you think about this video in the comment section so in the next video we will see 
one more important concepts regarding dictionaries which is nothing but dictionary comprehension so how we can create the dictionary dynamically with the key value pairs in it so that we will be seeing in our next video so to stay updated with my latest videos subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one